All right, everybody, welcome in. This is a reading. I want to do this because I don't know if you've noticed, but the, for the last week, we've gotten a lot of messages around ancestral karma clearing, um, ancestral patterns. Um, ancestral karma is just something that you're being asked to recognize a pattern in your life. It comes from what you were taught, what you were raised, how you were raised, things like that. And if it's giving you problems, this is not about, hey, this is a lovely tradition. Why are you telling me to not have my family traditions? That's not what this is. This is about stuff that you just think this is the way the world works because of how you're how you were raised. And you're starting to notice that it's giving you problems or it's giving you challenges in relationships or in your life. So let's I want to do this uh, message from the ancestors gratitude, first of all. And let's talk about uh, what is trying to come through for you, what is being asked of you right now. If you are especially noticing um, that there's um, a new beginning happening in your life and like you don't want to drag some of this stuff with you, this reading is for you. All right, let's see where we're going here. Magic underneath is the card of magic. Oh, well, hot damn. Spiritual cleansing focus and divinity. Wow. Wow. All right. So this is saying to me that some of you have forgotten uh, your lineage of divinity. Some of you may not have been um, or you're not remembering how divine you are on this planet. And so to do this, to do cleansing, I feel like some of you believe that either you're flawed in a certain area, I can't ever make money, I can't ever have love in my life, why can't I have a happy relationship, why is it always problems, all these kinds of things. And I feel like there's something, I'm talking to a group of you right now who have um, ancestral lineage of healers. OK, healers, especially. And this is something that it's kind of like you're being asked if you feel called in this life to be some kind of healer, empath healer or some kind of nurturing, whether it's like being a parent or it's someone who is cleansing the world in some important way. I feel like if you're being called to this mission, then this is an ancestral this is ancestral um, gift, an ancestral gift, and there's something standing in the way of it. It's like you're not remembering who you are or you're not really thinking. When I say healer, do you automatically go, oh, that's not me. I don't know. Like maybe I'm an empath, but I don't know. Like maybe I'm a healer. Maybe I'm not a healer. If that word kind of strikes fear in your heart, like, oh, that's so ego, that's so egoic to think of myself as a healer. I feel like that's an indicator that this reading might be for you, that you're a little bit um, afraid. I'm going to use that word, afraid of saying something that might sound egoic or that might that might feel like a little too grandiose for you or that may feel um, how dare I call myself a healer or a teacher? How dare I do that? And I'm just getting this sense that some of you are really being called to this mission right now. and that feeling that calling myself a teacher or a healer is the is really the thing that's holding you back. Don't get too big, right? Stay small. Uh, don't uh, and really we're talking when we're talking about small, we're talking about small thinking or small ideas or something like that. And to be more um, Leo-esque or <laughs> or emperor like or empress like or anything like that is to be, um, is something that mod you know, modesty was the thing that you were taught or, you know, don't get too high, don't get too low or something along those lines, which is fine, everything in moderation. But I feel like I'm speaking or I'm trying to speak to a group of you who are destined to be healers and teachers and you're kind of afraid to go there because like, who the hell am I to say that about myself? Okay. Um, there's the Hierophant. Here's the magician. There's also something here about magic and magician. Those people in previous cultures or societies going back thousands of years were revered, right? They were really the, the medicine man and they were 
the medicine woman, the the healer of the tribe, the magician of the tribe, someone who could perform um, acts of magic. But really, you know, that's kind of like a um, a simplistic way of putting it. Uh, you know, healers really just make the conditions right for the body to heal itself or the soul to heal itself. And you're not like laying on of hands and making some kind of miracle. That was that was Jesus's realm. There's no question about that. But there's something here to me that says that some of you may have been raised in in the culture that said that everything is outside of you, that it's not you, that you're not divine. You don't have divine within you. You have to kind of um, bow and scrape, right? Because this is hierophant. That's traditional religion. Okay. So there's something like that. Six of cups, nine of swords and the moon. I am getting that some of you have a person uh, coming back into your life who's reminding you either of the, you're not, how dare you kind of pretend that you're a healer or the person you're dealing with, the person that's next in line for relationship with you is dealing with this, this very thing that they don't, they can't like put themselves in that place and of being a healer or of, of talking about themselves this way. It's something so foreign to them. Um, I am getting that there is, you know, when we have this new moon coming in, in the early part of September, that's going to be very important. It's a Virgo energy, which is healing energy, Virgo, super healing energy. And actually we just had that full moon in Aquarius. And whenever I get the star card, that's healing as well. So there's something here about healing these mindsets that have kept you away from your mission and purpose, because it seems a little grandiose to you, or it seems like something that isn't really um, comfortable, okay? Isn't really comfortable. And the new moon in Virgo that's happening at the beginning of September is gonna give you a chance to plant the seeds of this expanding in your life, of you stepping into that role of being a, a, a healer, a, a divine um, channeler, a teacher, a magician, someone who works with the energies of the planet. That's what a magician does, works with the energies. And the downside of magician is that they hide things, right? It's like illusion. What are illusions? And I feel like the illusion has been that you're not magic. Okay. I feel like that's been the illusion here, that you don't have the capability of being some kind of, of medicine man or medicine woman or healer in any way, shape or form. So seven of cups coming up, lovers, wow, hermit, this has been a confusing time, okay, this has been a confusing time, but you are stepping into being the hermit here, and this is more traditional, right, this is more the traditional um, um, religious kind of path. The hermit is more the spiritual philosophical path. The magician is something wholly separate where we're taking philosophies or we're taking ways of looking at life and we're kind of magically transforming them right before our eyes. And there's some kind of fear around doing that, but you're stepping into being this Gandalf character, this, this healer and teacher of men and women, right? He's looking right at the lover's card here. Where there was confusion, this hermit brings clarity, okay? And reminding you of your divinity that's not outside you. And I feel like that's what the Hierophant does. It's like, eh, everything's outside of you. Magician's like, oh, no, I don't think so. And the hermit definitely knows everything starts within. Queen of Cups, Knight of Swords, and the Ace of Swords. Um... I feel like some of you are dealing either this is you or this is someone that you're dealing with who's been kind of haunted by this, this chasm in their life, you know, religion versus spirituality or outer versus inner or something like that. And this is really pushing this narrative or bringing this to a um, a very powerful place where you're seeing your own divinity. You're seeing, so there's something happening here. There's some kind of movement 
around truth, about what is the truth. The ancestors are saying that the truth you're, you have been embracing is something that has kept you small. And so it's time to really step into being a healer, being a magician, being a hermit. It's time to step into that, to make that choice. And I feel like not everybody's going to be happy about that. This Knight of Swords is here, but you will be authentic. And that, my friend, is priceless. You will be authentic. That way your relationships will be authentic. Your manifestations will be fast, okay, because you're coming from that really authentic place. The two of wands, we got some choices here coming up. Nine of wands and the five of cups. Definitely got some choices here. I feel like some of you are, may have been through relationships or situations where you feel you've lost or you feel like you've been beating your head against a wall. You feel like, how come I, how come I can't get out of my own way in terms of my love relationships, in terms of my uh, ability to attract money. How come I can't do it? And it's kind of like if you're otherizing these problems or these situations, the first place you go is look inward. And it's not it's not like blaming the victim or anything, but the only real uh, shift you can make is from inside. So this is a decision to recognize all of the lessons you've learned and change it from this idea of that's a nine of wands, this is the nine of swords, from it being something that you have to get away from to something that you embrace, right? This is about being authentic and embracing all of the lessons we've had, all of the relationships we've had, really embracing that and having compassion for ourselves, no matter what happens in the relationship. So I feel like some of you are being called into this life of divinity. And not everybody gets this call. If you're watching this video, you're getting this call to be that hermit, to be the magician, to be the, the, um, the healer of the tribe in some way. Some of you have had a lot of problems with relationships and have, when you come to the end of the time, you're like, well, they, that wasn't authentic or, or we weren't, or I wasn't, or something like that. There's going to be some kind of recognition of a lack of authenticity in a relationship. And like that, as I've been talking about recently, that, that, um, veil has been removed, right? We don't, we're not having that problem anymore of not seeing people's true, nature or their true intentions, their true um, ways of being in the world or what their true agendas. We're, we're really going to, we're really seeing that that is being removed. I feel like that's what happened with this full moon in Aquarius, that there was a purging of the veil of inauthenticity. And that's great because you're like, oh my God, now we can see everybody for what they truly are and what, you know, what their intentions are and everything like that. We can truly see that. And that's so empowering. But there's also kind of a thing of like, oh man, there's some things about, about people that I love that I don't want to know, I don't want to see, or people I want to keep in my life that are being inauthentic. And I'm like, okay, can't, you can't hang, right? Like you're getting this clarity. And so all of these, I feel like you're seeing that there are people that need to leave. There are situations that were in, um, that were not fair. There are things that were done that were behind the back, that were underhand, that were lacking in empathy, all of the above. Yep. You're right. You're right. And so there's something about that that now is empowering, but it's also a tremendous level of responsibility to be this person who has cleansed themselves of all these veils, of all this kind of, like, you see it now. You can't unsee it. And that's a huge responsibility because there could be, in the wrong hands, in the in the hands of someone who um, wanted to dominate or wanted power or something like that, they could easily really dominate people. They could really um, 
make things super challenging for those people on this planet. And there will be plenty of them who can't see because they don't want to. They want to stay in the place of fear and anxiety. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. What if he's like this? What if this doesn't work? What if this is not? How about you see everything? So there's kind of no excuse, right? There's no excuse anymore. Like, I didn't know that that's how we, who he was. Oh my gosh. Uh-uh. So this is a transformational event that's happening here. And I feel like we are going towards this authenticity, definitely with the spiritual path. We are most definitely approaching this new level of becoming the hermit, becoming this divinity with a clarity that is unsurpassed on this earth up until now. This is a new level of clarity. And yeah, some people are going to, you're going to be like, wow, okay, I thought that person was kind or generous. I thought that person loved me. I thought that person, you're not going to have to worry about that anymore because it's like you're going to just see, you're just going to know, okay? So for you moving forward here, making some choices based on this new authenticity, death, 10 of pentacles, page of wands. Wow. And the empress. Wow. So you really are stepping, you're choosing for those of you who are really resonating with this. Those of you who are queen of cups and this ace of swords, you're, you're fully healed in your heart. You're choosing to step forward into this authenticity, 10 of pentacles. This is going to be, uh, a, a lot of abundance flowing in and abundance from this heart energy because you've healed, you've healed something. And now you're being given this next level. Wow. This next level energy, this next level of ascension, next level of ascension coming in here. Ancestors telling us about this. What else can I say about this? What else can I channel about this? High Priestess, Expanding Consciousness, Path of Least Resistance, Masculine Twin, Releasing the Lower Self, and Acknowledgement, Take Responsibility. That's a lot of the part of the full moon in Aquarius. It's, it is about accepting responsibility for whatever is going on in your life, regardless of how much another person may be at fault for it or whatever that is, because now it's like you're removing the veil from your eyes. You're expanding your consciousness and you're taking responsibility for the fact that, yeah, you know what? I'm in this moment. I have attracted this person to my life. So what's going on with that? Why did, why is that here? Why is that person here? And there's like a new level of awareness coming in, a new level of information starting to flow for you. So some of you could be opening up your clairvoyance, your clairaudience, clairsentience, claircognizance. Those are the four that we all share. And one of those is your wheelhouse. But the other, the other three uh, are ones you need to work on and are being asked to work on right now as a healer or as a divine being. Because what's happening here is, I feel like this, is, um, this can be for a small group of you this can be a twin flame um, story of the path and the masculine is being asked to step into this hermit role, to see things more clearly, to purge themselves, take responsibility for what, what's happened in their lives in order to spiritually cleanse themselves. The feminine is waiting on the path here. And I'm teaching in my twin flame astrology group, I'm teaching about something called zodiacal releasing which is a method of give a uh, method of telling or of forecasting events based on the energy of the time for you, the chapter you're in, figuring out where you are on the planet, where you are in your life. Are you in a time of rest? Are you in a time of ascension? Are you in a peak time? Are you in a time of wrapping things up? Like it's helpful to notice, to know those things and to be able to trust those things because what we're, what we're noticing now is that we've had this very masculine energy of, I can dynamically choose any timeline I want to. 
And that is somewhat true. But when you start learning about the fact that you have patterns in this life, you have uh, times when you're more dynamic and times when you're less dynamic. This is a very divine feminine um, concept and the divine feminine is on the rise right now. It's sort of like surf the energy, surf the energy that's being shown to you. So if you're in a time when you're um, needing to rest, like you've just had some peak time, you've just written a book, you've just, you know, um, done something um powerful in your life. You've just expanded your energy. You've just leveled up or something like that. There does come a time when there's an, a regrouping, when there's a time for cool down, when there's a time for rest and relaxation, and then there's a time for ramping up. Okay. I'm walking up this mountain toward the peak. I feel like we are in a time here where we have been resting and if it's frustrating you, if you've had a time when you like can't move anything along, you can't get something to the next level, that's likely why. Okay, because you're you're not, it's not ready yet. The cake needs more time to bake. Okay. And that's what I'm seeing here. The cake has been baking. And I feel like this is a ramp up time. This is a ramp up time where you're expanding your consciousness, you're taking responsibility for whatever's been going on. And there's a time now uh, where you're stepping into some kind of peak energy. All right. So let's go deeper into that peak energy. I will pull cards for each zodiac sign to give you some clarity around what's being asked of you right now, especially as it relates to this uh, new energy that's entering your life. All right. So if this is your reading, we'll look at what you don't see coming the next 30 days and then the full zodiac. All right. If this is your reading, there's a link below. If you want to continue on with me, I'll see you over there. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.